what is up guys hope you're fine this is Arfan and welcome to the fourth part of this project so in this state section we are going to show the numbers means the statistics for the Emmy so here as you can see that she had 50 plus projects 30 plus happy clients and four years experience so those are the things that we are going to show in this state section and if I go to the mobile version of this street section so let's go to iphone x and here as you can see that that's what it will look like in the mobile device yeah it's looking good as you can see that so we will make it responsive and it will look good in both device so that's what we are going to make in this part of the project uh, i hope you guys will like it also, if you want to get some interesting tips and tricks about web design and development, you can follow us on Instagram. The handle is instagram.com slash web underscore cipher. Also, if you face any kind of problem with this tutorial, you can join our Facebook community group. We have a great and helpful community and you can post your problem there. So with that saying, let's get started. So here after the testimonial section, we are going to make the stats section for the portfolio. So here in our HTML file after the testimonial section code, let's start and create a comment and let's say that this is the stats and this is the end of state section. And here let's create a section and also let's say that id will be states and also let's say that we will have a div with the class of container and inside that i will have the section heading so h2 with a class of section heading and here we will say that states and i should get the style for this heading because we already did it for our global style so we have it and also for this outline we should give the data outline here and the value will be uh, what is the value sorry so this should be outside of our class so here the value will be the same states and i should get the outline here so after that let's create the item so we will have three items so let's say that div with a class of all items and inside that we will have items not items will be a single item so after that uh, let's say that for each of our item we will have a div or h2 with a class of number and also the value will be let's say that 50 for now and let's say that h3 here let's say that ht and this one will be for our subheading so let's say that class will be uh, states subheading and here i will just say that project done and after that let's have some paragraph and this one will be this will not need any kind of class because i think we have a global style for our program so this will work fine so i can see the number and the heading and also the program so great now we just need to create two more so we can actually duplicate these things two more time now we should have three project as you can see the three items i mean so let's style those things so let's go to our style.css and let's get a comment let's say that this will be the states style and here let's say that uh, first of all let's grab the section with the id of states and here let's say that the padding will be so here i will just say that 20 rem for the top and 0 and 10 rem for the bottom and 0 for the left side so we will have 20 and 10 for the top and bottom so after that let's actually grab the all items so numbers 
not numbered sorry states and all items and here let's say that display will be flex and align items will be and justify content will be also center so now as you can see that these three items are actually staying now side by side because now they have the display flex so after that uh, let's go to our individual item and style them so id stats and inside that all items grab the singular item and let's say that padding will be 2 rem and also we need some style for the number which is the heading so let's actually grab that stats uh inside the stats we have the number uh let me i think this is the number and here let's say that this should be the singular number yeah so after inside that so here let's say that the font family will be the poppins so poppins and if you want you can use a fallback sensitive and font size will be atrium so now you can see that these now number is actually getting bigger and after that uh, let's actually go to our subheading so similar thing states subheading i think this will be the state subheading i should check the class once more so in our yeah the state subheading so good in our state subheading uh, i just can say that the font size will be 2rem and here let's say that the margin bottom will be 2rem also so now you can see that we have this subheading style so after that let's actually do an uh, individual background color for this item so what i can do i just can say that for states and all items inside that individual item and first one means nth child so we are grabbing the first individual item and here i will just say that the background color will be the green or red so e2 will make the background green as you can see that i'll not make it background green let me copy the color for this one so now as you can see that we have this uh, kind of yellow color here in the background so i will duplicate it two more time and the second one will be the second child and the third one will be the third child and let me copy the color for them so this color will be for the second one which is actually this type of green and the third one should be this color so now as you can see that we have the color in our third one so that's fine looking good and uh, i think that's it that's the simple states uh, section and let's make it responsive so let me go to the iphone mobile side here so you can see that it is not actually responsive so to make it responsive let's get a media query here media on the screen and uh, max width Seven sixty-eight pixel. So inside of this range, what I need to do? Simply, I just need to do. Uh, I just need to make the flex direction of these all items. So I need to change that. So states, all items, flex direction should be the column. Now, as you can see that now they are in column, and it's looking good. That will work. So if I now go to the responsive mode as you can see that it's looking great perfectly done our state section and also let's actually change the text for the state section here so let's say that uh, the first text that we will have is 50 plus kinds so this will be 50 plus and yeah uh, 50 plus actually project done so projects done i think that should be correct so after that we will have uh, 30 plus happy clients so 30 plus and this should be happy clients and after that we will have 
experiences so let's say that four year plus uh, years experiences so that's it as you can see that now we have our text back so that's it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family also if you want to watch more video like this one please subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i will upload my next video so my name is Arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye Kodafis.